Michael, what's the latest on progress with the planning bill? Um, the most recent development saw the publication of the financial memorandum. That is a revised memorandum which discusses the added financial burdens which will be placed on both local authorities and, and the development industry um, through the, the amendments that were sought at stage two. Some of the figures make for some fairly eye-watering reading. Um, they're talking about an additional £75 million pounds worth of costs for local authorities um, and as well as that it's being muted as being around £400 million to £1 billion pounds worth of additional costs to the development industry and considering that when the initial financial memorandum came out a number of years ago uh, that discussed potential savings of £22 million. so there, there, there's a growing concern um, both within the development industry and local authorities at, 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 at some of the changes that have, that have come about. With the new planning bill, are there any significant changes proposed? When the bill first came through, there was a, a, a requirement within that for strategic development plans to be removed from the planning system. And what we've now seen within the, the, the amendments that have come through at stage two is that they've actually been reintroduced, so they're back, they're back in the picture again. Additionally, there's changes afoot for um, the preparation of local development plans. Um, we can see those moving from a, what's currently a five-year cycle to a ten-year cycle. In addition to that, uh, there would be a requirement for community-led local place plans um, and those would be prepared in conjunction with the, the local development plan, as well as the introduction of um, master plan concept areas and the potential for uh, an infrastructure levy. If we recall that the objective was to have a, a planning system with a sharp focus on effective delivery, is that something you think is being achieved? No, I don't, um, is, 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 is the short answer to that. Um, considering that there's been some 91 additional burdens on, on, on local authorities that have come through, and when you consider that with the backdrop of the, the financial burdens um, as well, and as, that comes at a time when local authorities are undergoing significant cuts, resourcing issues, you know, when you think about the, the overarching aims of the bill was to speed up the planning process and create, you know, a better environment for the delivery of development. I just, I don't see that happening um, un under the current status of the bill. Thank you.